Okay, let's differentiate y equals x sine 2x. Now, as you can see here, meron tayong x. So that is another fun that is one function and sine 2x that's another function. So we could actually think x as our u and sine 2x as our v. So since magkatabi sila, that represents that our rule that we're going to use is the product rule, no? Pero bago yun, kailangan mo natin i-differentiate bawat sa kanila para mas madali na lang mamaya. So, since our u is equal to x, our du is equal to 1. Diba? That's the identity rule. And our v is sine 2x. Now, alam natin na ang ating pong um, pwede gamitin dito ay yung chain rule. Anong sabi sa chain rule? Kailangan natin i-differentiate itong inside bago yung ating pong outside. Okay, paano yon? So, differentiate natin itong function na to. So, this would be 2. And then, differentiate natin yung outside. So, ito na yun, yung trigonometric function. Which is, what's the, differ what's the derivative of, of sine? That would be cosine. And then, copyin na lang natin. Ayan. Ulitin ko po. So, differentiate natin yung inside. So, that is 2. And yung bago yung outside. So, der derivative nitong sine is cosine, kaya magiging cosine to. And copy na lang natin yung ating function. So, that would be our dv. So, we have 2 cosine 2x. Okay? Now we have All right. So let's Okay. Let's have the formula for the product rule. We have d u v is equal to u d v plus v du. Alright, our u here is x and our du is and our dv this is dv is 2 cosine 2x plus v is sine 2x and our du is 1. So in short, we have 2x cosine 2x is equal to 2x cosine 2x plus sine 2x. Alright, so this is our answer now. This time, let's have the derivative of cosine function. So, we have y equals cosine x. Now, if y equals cosine x, then d over dx cosine x is equal to negative sine x. Or the derivative of cosine x is equal to negative sine x. Kung yung ating pong sine x, yung derivative ng ating sine x ay positive cosine x, this time ang derivative ng cosine x is negative sine x. Okay? So, if u is differentiable function of x, then according to the chain rule, the derivative of cosine u is equal to negative sine u, the derivative of u. Okay? Or times the derivative of u. So, let's have an example for you to better understand this. Let's say, for instance, we have y equals cosine 2x. So, just, just like what we did in the sine function, no? 
what we're going to do here is to have our u. So as you can see here, we have a function u, which is 2x, and we will have u cosine, or we will have y equals cosine u, no? Then, para mas madali nating ma masagutan to, so kung natin muna yung, yung ating u, which is 2x, and then yung derivative nitong u is 2 na lang. Diba? Since uh, this is an identity rule, no? magiging 1 na lang yan siya. Now, uh, pwede na natin ilagay yung ating pong formula. So we have the derivative of cosine u is equal to negative sine u du. So, what we will get here is negative sine what is our u? So that is 2x and the derivative of u is 2 so we will have negative 2 sine 2x so that is our derivative let's have another example we have y equals cosine x squared. So again, let's identify first our u, which is, in this case, we have x squared. And then identify natin yung dv natin, du natin. So, since our u is x squared, our du is 2x. Alright? Now, let's have our formula. We know that the derivative of cosine x, or I mean cosine u, is equal to negative sine u du. Now, so we have negative sine, and then what is our u? x squared. And our du is 2x. So we will just write this. We will have negative 2x sine x squared. Is our derivative. Let's have y equals cosine squared x. Magkaiba po ang cosine squared x sa cosine x squared. Okay? Kasi ang pag sinabi natin cosine squared x, ibig sabihin yun, yung cosine daw yung square. So, pwede natin isulat yan as cosine x squared. Yan. Pero kapag sabi naman natin cosine x squared, ibig sabihin yung x yung ating in square. So, yun yun siya. No? You can have cosine x squared. Okay. Kasi baka naman ito kayo, no? Pag sabing cosine squared x ay hindi po equal yan sa cosine x squared. Ang cosine squared x, ibig sabihin, yung cosine x yung ating in square. Yung cosine x squared naman, yung x yung ating in square. Now, as you can see here, uh, sabi ko nga, pwede natin i-write itong cosine squared x as cosine x or quantity cosine squared. Ah, uh, cosine x squared. So, magiging... Magiging y equals cosine x and then square. No? And if we're going to use our u, so mangyayari parang magiging ito yan siya. y is equal to cosine or sorry, y is equal to u squared. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung ating u is, our, is the cosine x. Okay? Pwede ko baka nakalit na dito kayo. So again, uh, pag ni-write natin ito, kasi kailangan natin ng i-write, dahil hindi natin ito ma-differentiate kapag gaito na mismo yung ating pong um, function. So kailangan natin na siyang i-write para mas makuha natin. And i-apply natin dito yung tinatawa ating chain rule. Yung we're going to 
to derive first yung atin po or differentiate first yung nasa loob bago natin i-differentiate yung nasa labas. And by using the chain rule, we could say that u here is actually actually the cosine x. And our du, ano bang derivative ng cosine x? That is negative sine x. So, kung ating isa-substitute ito sa ating u du, itong y ay magiging ganito ang itsura niya. Magiging y is equal to u squared du. Parang ganito ang itsura niya. So, using this, um, oh sorry, magiging y is equal to u squared. Ayan. And, para ma-derive ito, so that is a power rule. So, this will mean, so u squared mean 2u, you know, du. Now, since alam natin yung ating u, i-substitute na lang natin. Okay, so derivative na po ito. So, our u here is cosine x. Again natin. And our du is negative sine x. Okay, so i-write lang natin ito siya. Same pa rin naman yung sabihin. I-write lang natin para maging uh, pinaka yung standard answer. So, we have your negative and then copy natin yung 2 cosine x sine x alright so this is now our answer